Good morning, everybody. We're reading through Ezekiel 23, 24. This is uncomfortable this morning. Um, whenever, maybe it's just me, but whenever there's a display, a public display of intimacy, of affection, um, we or I avert our eyes. It's, it's not something that... Um, we, we, we might uh, rejoice in that, we might, but it, it's, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. Uh, and that's why in a lot of places they, they don't want public displays of, of affection. Because um, it's uncomfortable for, for most people. And, and this is an uncomfortable uh, passage. As, as um, Father really exposes himself, he shows uh, very intimately um, how he has been hurt how he has been rejected. Um, the pain of that. It's, uh, sometimes we, we look at it from the point of view of, um, well, this is the law, and, and they disobey the law. When you disobey the law, this is what happens. You get punished in this way. But it's so much deeper than that. It's so much more intimate than that. This is, this is a, a heart. Um, this is a broken covenant. This is, Okay, like, this is what I brought into the relationship. I, I brought in the land. I brought in protection. I brought in all this sort of stuff. And you guys have rejected me. And you've gone after your own. It's like you're saying that what I've provided for you isn't, isn't good enough. And, and so you're, you're pursuing your own stuff. Well, I, I'm going to take, take what I brought into the relationship since you don't want the relationship. And I, I'm just going to take that back. And, and so you guys have to get off the land have to get off the land. Listen, if, um, if a guy's married, if a guy's married and his wife is um, going out and having sex with everybody else, um, it's going to be very hard for him to live with that under his house, under, under his roof. And, and this is what's going on under, under his roof, under, under the roof. Um, Judah is prostituting herself. And, and we see here that the name Israel has been dropped. It's now Samaria, referred to as Samaria. It's no longer referred to as, as Israel. There's Samaria and there's Judah. And, and, and in very intimate ways it's described. You know, some people have problems with the intimate worship that we have today. Come on now, read, read this. This, this is how, how the Lord feels towards us. It's this kind of intimacy. And, and uh, you know, this was happening in his house. So he says, I can't have this in my house. You, got, you have to leave the land. You have to leave the land. You're not going to have my protection. You're not going to have my provision. You're going you're gonna to see what it's like to live out there without me. And then, and then you're going to call me after 70 years. You're, you're going to call out to me. And I promise you, I'm not going to abandon you. I'm not going to. That's what, that's what his life was like. It's like putting your wife out or putting your spouse out and says you can return when, when you realize um, you need to love me. You need to love me. And that's what we're seeing here. This is such a, it's a terrible thing. And we, we read it, we go through it and, and we read it so... Um, we're callous in our reading of it. We're tired of it. Like, oh man, do I have to sit through this prophet now? Man, it, it's already, I mean, Isaiah already covered this. Why did I have to cover it in, in, in Jeremiah? And now, and now uh, Ezekiel? Come on now. How many times do I have to hear this? Man, this is, this is a big deal. It is a big deal. Don't, don't treat your love for the Lord as a casual thing. Don't he? Because he he wants all of us. It's um, that that love will die, unless it's with all of our mind, all of our soul, all of our strength, all all that we are, all that we have, that we would passionately bring it to him, that we worship him and love him with all that passion. Um, and we have to go beyond the education. We have to go beyond the words. It has to be the heart. It has to be the emotions. It has to be the intellect. It has to be the body. It's got to be everything given over to him because 
he deserves that level of love. He deserves that level of intimacy. It's what he's asking for. It's what he desires. And we need to give that to him. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was hard to read. But celebrate that he loves us that much. And he wants to be that close to us. Draw him into him today. Take encouragement from this. You guys be blessed, be encouraged. Love you all. <laughs>